These are some of the first images from ESA's Solar Orbiter. They were captured by the Extreme Ultraviolet Imager in June as the spacecraft made its first approach. Solar Orbiter came within 77 million kilometres. Never before has a camera been this close to the Sun. Solar Orbiter's first close approach to the Sun has enabled us to, for the first time, operate all 10 instruments on board together. Initially, they had been checked out one by one, like tuning individual musical instruments, and now it was time for them to perform together for the first time. Solar Orbiter was launched on the 10th of February this year, but the process of checking out the 10 instruments and a total of 27 telescopes and sensors on board has been hampered by the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time, spacecraft commissioning was carried out from people's homes, an effort that's paid off. Receiving this first science data was really exciting. We see already little features we haven't seen before, like little flashes of light that look a little bit like solar flares, but are much, much smaller than the solar flares we used to know. The scientists refer to these flashes as campfires. They could be part of the process that heats the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, the corona. And although the mission's at an early stage and the instruments aren't fully calibrated, these results provide a tantalizing glimpse of the discoveries to come. This first data allows us to tune the software on board, to calibrate the images even better, so that we can get ready for the real science phase and for even closer approaches to the sun. Solar Orbiter has a long journey ahead of it. During this cruise phase of the mission, the spacecraft will study the solar wind, the stream of charged particles the sun emits, producing more useful science. Having been involved in Solar Orbiter for over 13 years, it's been an amazing moment to see the first data and images because this is something that I have been waiting for as a scientist for many years. And following this entire process from conceiving the spacecraft, building it, launching it, and then see it actually work in orbit is fantastic. And this is only the beginning. Just a few months after launch, Solar Orbiter is already giving us a new understanding of our neighborhood star and its influence on the Earth.